It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one. Uh, today we have an installment of the eight burger series. Uh, and today we're taking it to the Whopper Jr. So we've done a few variations of the eight burger series. And uh, this one, I can say I'm also very excited for because as you may well know, the Whopper is one of my favorite burgers, if not the favorite burger in the fast food uh, chain industry gang. So I've got these uh, eight beauties on deck here. Uh, I'm gonna unwrap four in the front, grab a little thumbnail, won't make you sit through it because the power of editing. And uh, we'll just get into this and have some good old fashioned chats, okay? All right, so the gang's all here. We're prepped a little bit, but we must have a Guy Fieri room. And if you don't know what that is, that means that I have to have somewhere to actually eat this food because <laughs> otherwise it gets too overwhelming. But what we must also do is pour up. And today I have to say that we're switching it up to a two liter of Canada dry ginger ale diet. Um, it's different, but uh, it should do. It, it seems like it'll be good. We do have fizz. And I would say that that is, uh, was a master pour. Oh yeah, that's a Whopper Junior with heavy all. That's what these are, but that's what that is too. Okay, so Whopper Junior heavy all. I don't know if you request heavy all when you go to Burger King. I do, because I figure you might as well get the bang for your buck on the veggies and everything. And I like my my burgers of like more saucy. So when they do heavy all, they do heavy mayo, heavy ketchup. So but let's get into it. Initial observations are that I've always found even though the Whopper and the Whopper Junior are made out of the exact same ingredients, just this is in a smaller form. Something about it, they never actually taste like exactly the same. What I'm noticing is that the bun today is feeling not like completely fresh. Like it feels like it's kind of like wanting to kind of crumble and disintegrate a little bit. This video, by the way, it was requested by the OG homie subscriber Dominic he tricked me into it because he knows I would have no problem doing this one because this is an easy video for me to want to make Easily a favorite 
type video. There is just such a certain magic about the way that the flavors in a Whopper come together. This, however, is kind of not acceptable. That tomato is mealy. Very, very mealy. Back when I first actually found Whoppers, I used to eat them with no onions. I do like them with the onions now, but sometimes they can be a little overwhelming. But I'll tell you this, right there, that's gonna be, that's like my favorite type of bite. I can tell it's gonna be so good. when you hit that saucy tomato pocket. That's a bite for the wall of flames. All right, and we move forward into the encounters of the fourth kind here. And by that I mean we're just having the fourth burger. And I have a rogue pickle on the bottom of the bun. Very interesting. There's all this new hype going on about this four Big Mac challenge. People are taking four Big Macs, stacking them on top of each other, and skewering, skewering a stick through them, and like eating them like a kebab kind of. Very intriguing. Mildly ridiculous, but hey, so is this. <laughs> so, the things we do for senseless entertainment. The lady at the window when I was ordering these ordering these was pretty like kind of dumbfounded seeming. She's just like I said eight two times and then I rolled up to the window. And she's like, so six? I was like, 
no eight. And she's like, eight? I'm like, yeah, eight. She's like, but six? No, eight. She's like, okay. I was like, are you looking out for me or? Because I'm a trained professional, okay? Because <laughs> this is so professional. <laughs> you can't train for this. I guess you can. People like Matt Stoney and shit, I don't know. There are some people, though, out there who can crush. Like, it's crazy. I found this girl the other day, this Asian uh, girl named Fran. She's got, like, 3 million subscribers. But on the daily, she eats, like, competitive eater champion level amounts of food and uploads, like, literally every day. I have absolutely no idea how she does it, but I will say that, like, it is impressive. I mean, it's inhuman and unnatural seeming, but impressive. So this is number five. And I can already tell you with certainty that this Is where the journey ends for me. I feel like I can't even I have this one. Which is a weak attempt for me, I believe. Cause I I could usually eat two whop well, I ate three whoppers before on here, so that's gotta be. I don't know. Maybe it's just not my day. It's definitely not. Yeah, I gotta throw in the towel. Like literally. <laughs> Waving the white flag. That's it for me for this one. The one good thing about Whoppers, I will say way better than McDonald's, is I'll fridge these, and tomorrow they'll actually still be like quite, quite good when you reheat them. They don't get like weird. I find McDonald's just like has such like a, it has to be fresh, and then it's like, if even if you put it in the fridge, like a double cheeseburger, if you make it tomorrow, it has like this really funky, like gamey pretty nasty taste to it but BK on the other hand I feel like it, it, it travels well into the next day but yeah that's it for this one kind of disappointed in myself thought I could get through six I really did think I could get through about six and I didn't even clean up five so we might have to rematch it in the future and I'll I'll prepare a little better for it, but hope you enjoyed it regardless. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.